Spooky Season's greetings, Stark Crusaders. This upload marks the 24th iteration of the daily endeavors in ESO Like a Pro series on Vampiric ESO. I'm Vampiric, and I'm about to show you in around four and a half minutes how to quickly accomplish the easiest daily endeavors. Lots of info here, so I suggest turning on closed captioning. Here are the available daily endeavors. I've marked two I've chosen for today in red that can be completed by anyone level six or higher in under 20 minutes, but unfortunately the two options for a third marked in gold can only be accomplished by new players with a good amount of preparation or skill. If you'd like a guide on reaching level six quickly, refer to the link for episode 20 in the upper right for PC viewers or visit the URL in the description, then skip to chapter three. Let's discuss the alternatives first as they'll take the most time to complete for new players. If you have enough gold to purchase master provisioning rates, increasingly high level recipes as well as their ingredients, and are patient enough to power level the skill by crafting new dishes or drinks at a cooking fire when the previously crafted dishes or drinks no longer earn you a good amount of XP in the skill, it's probably the easiest consumable crafting skill to get to the max level of 50 due to the ease of using recipes to determine what is needed to craft them. Be sure to get certified to do provisioning writs before beginning this process, as the available daily writ will progress your skill and complete a needed quest for one of today's challenges. The certification quests are most easily accessed near Vivek City Way Shrine in Southern Vardenfell, and these will also complete another quest. If you need a Way Shrine, ask someone in Zone to take you. If you're above level 6 and need to get certified in a crafting discipline, speak with Milaneth or Daniel Teleno at the Gold Star when in the city. The crafting tables in Vivek are also very easy to find and are located near the respective writ boards you can obtain writs from if already certified. For needed supplies, I suggest accessing the URL in the description for TamrielTradeCenter.com and using the available filters to find out what's for sale throughout the lands at a price you can live with. You may be able to complete a master provisioning writ from no provisioning skill within an hour using these methods. Completing a master writ will also complete one of the needed quests for today. If you're more combat oriented or don't have the gold to fund the leveling of provisioning, I suggest finding a few groupmates in the same alliance as your favorite combat character and hunting down a patrolling horror in Imperial City. I must warn you that these are some of the most difficult enemies in the game to kill as they're in a heavy, compact PvP zone and while this endeavor is active, many players from every alliance will be trying to kill them. When Coupling this with the enemies having millions of health and very high damage, you may have the perfect storm. To begin, if you don't have the DLC, you'll need to open the crown store by pressing comma, filter by Imperial City, and buy the DLC Imperial City for free. After purchase, you can press L, then Imperial City, select your champion point preference, and double click the server shown on the right to teleport there. When arrived, the example shown here depicts the route through the Imperial City sewers from the Daggerfall Covenant spawn area to the two closest Imperial City districts, all of which spawn patrolling horrors. You can follow the blue path from the Purple Star if you want a shorter distance through the sewers before reaching the Elven Gardens district. The full gold path will take you to the Nobles district, where the Daggerfall spawn is very close by the two spawn points for patrolling horrors. If on the surface in the Nobles district, proceed to the Gold Stars. As you can see, when I was there, the Ebonheart Pact controlled all districts. You might be able to switch characters to a different alliance for an easier time with this challenge. Only one patrolling horror will spawn in any district at any given time, but all districts will have players looking to kill these enemies, so if you're not the best at PvP and you can't or don't want to do a good amount of crafting, new players may have to forfeit an endeavor today. You may get lucky with a patrolling horror and there may be no one else in the area for the entirety of the time you're fighting it. I suggest giving it a try if it's your only option. Our other challenges today are rather simple. If you've been following along, you should have either obtained crafting certifications that will complete quests, or know that completing a daily crafting writ will complete a quest. In this player's opinion, these are the easiest ways to complete this challenge. All you should have left to do is kill 10 vampires, and a concentration of blood fiends can be found very near Crest Shade Way Shrine in Rivenspire. When arrived, search along the red path for blood fiends and slaughter to your endeavor's content. You may ask, Vampiric, how could you advocate for the murder of your own kind? Well, I view these abominations as a disgrace to the bloodline and you should let the streets run black with their tainted blood. Hopefully this guide offers you an easier endeavor day. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found these methods helpful, and save the playlist for easier access. Subscribe to Vampiric ESO for more ESO content, and let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to most in the Witches Festival. Wishing you a spooky sun's dusk, until next time. See you in Tamriel.